on Shark Fam 1 here and welcome back. Okay, so this requires a little bit of backstory. You guys see the title, you know what we're watching. We're watching the pilot episode of Archer. Now I know what you're going to say. Sherlock fan, didn't we actually already see the pilot? No, apparently not. Um, apparently, a helpful viewer brought, viewer brought this to my attention. I was actually watching season 13's episode 1 instead of the pilot, which I guess makes a lot of sense. Um, the first episode that was on my channel, like, seemed like a pilot, but they didn't really introduce anybody, so it was kind of odd. But, I'm really excited to see the actual pilot. Maybe this will explain some things, like, why they never mentioned about Archer's mom, obviously. You know, I knew it was his mom because I had seen bits and pieces of the show before and had heard that she was so awful. It, um, but yes, I heard you guys, we are going back to the pilot. We are going to check it out, and then it'll loop back around to what we've been seeing so far. Because we're only on episode two, but I never saw the pilot. So, oh, are you guys ready to start the episode? Because I sure am. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is season one, episode one of Archer. Is Archer his last name? Oh, so he is a s- okay. Oh my god. What have you gotten yourself into, Archer? Oh. Oh my gosh, that's his mom. Is she behind this? Oh, she's freaking doing this to train him. Why? Between his lame accent and the go kart battery, golf cart. Shut up. And speaking of lame, my code name was chosen at random by the ISIS computer. Random? It was your dog's name. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. All right, that's lunch then. Agent performance unsatisfactory. Oh come on. At worst, that was needs improvement. Jesus, Archer. What? You think this is a game? No, I think Jenga's a game. What? Oh my god. Real KGB. I think I Jenga's a game. Ooh. Man, never will. Because my mommy's not the boss. And maybe you just got your face kicked off. I was gonna say. Because I don't think that Archer is Archer's mom's being the boss too helps helping him in any way. I was gonna say. I don't think that Archer's mom being the boss is helping him in any way. What in the... Does she not like dogs? I was gonna say, I don't think him letting her in is his fault if she came in with you. How is that his fault? You own the house, you're gonna make that decision. Oh my gosh, he was so drunk. Is he just eating a lemon, like a giant lemon fruit for breakfast? Oh, it's actually, okay, it's not really a dry cleaner. It is a dry cleaner, but it's not a dry cleaner. So his whole dog hate thing comes from his mother. What is going on in here? Hey, you geeks want to smell something? Archer, get the hell out! What is it with you people? Try to They're doing their job, Archer. What are you doing? Hey, hey what is this? This is when Lana was introduced. Okay, so that does answer my question because it seemed like they had a relationship, and I was, I was like, when did this ever happen? Like, because it sounded like they were exes. But they never talked about, like, those two dating, really. They kind of just mentioned it in passing. So this really answers my question. So this is why Archer is jealous of her ex-husband and why these two kind of click, but she also hates him. Okay. Oh, my God. You're amazing. You are amazing. 
same sweet stuff. You want to do it again and put on some interracial porn? God, it's like my brain's that tree and you're those little cookie elves. What? Uh, Ew. Just a second. No, baby, don't answer I, that. I have to, sorry. It's mother. Mother. Oh my gosh. Just... Really? No, turn it, turn it on. I, I no! Well, so's the fact that you, some crazy how, are screwing my ex. Sure. Oh, okay, so they are together. I am just all over the place. You all know about Cyril and Lana, right? Sure. Of course, because if Pam knows, then everybody knows because of Pam's huge mouth. Right, Pam? Cheryl. I know, Cheryl. So to make it up to you. I'm ready. Could you buzz me in? Is that all you have to say? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. You doing? I, I, I'm. For your information, I've just been reviewing your operations account. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. And it makes for fascinating reading. No. Let's see. You turned in an expense report from Berlin. With a These two are just the worst combination of people. Oh, uh, Berlin. Did you wait as it is? Too busy to check was, in. Yeah. Or already off to Moscow. I'm spying on my life. Or was it my? <laughs> This isn't your own personal travel agency. It doesn't exist just so you can jet off to Whore Island. That's not a real place. Oh my. Well, we can do it hard. Okay. Your call. No? Hard it is then. Oh my gosh. Oh god, sorry. I forgot. Did, did I get you? It ricocheted. You, on the other hand, have a bullet inside you. I see your foot's all better. And I see you're still a hatchet-faced prick. Wow. So, do you see that sign? Uh, do you see that sign? Right. <laughs> why, so we don't get ants. Peter Predator. You know what? All right, let's just call it. Not a good name, is it? Oh, and Pam, if you want some food that's supposed to be cream-filled, I offer these Delicious donuts yeah. in exchange for the favor. Favor? Yeah. After how you treated me? Well, you're oh, dolphin, oh, Pam. Oh, she's down. Oh, oh, right. You dolphin. Oh, oh, you. I think she peed. I had to get three stitches. Oh my I gosh. Watch, Archer's just sorry. like the worst I person. I need your help, Pam, because I, I'm. He's got a lot. A right. You should. Because if you let me in the mainframe, I'll drop these donuts. Then you can pretend they're marbles and you're a hungry, hungry hippo. So come let me in the mainframe. Is this about your operations account? No! Cyril! Yeah. I'm on a top secret mold. Oh yeah, I'm you. Mm -hmm. when? Oh, she called a minute ago. Oh, so she yeah, knows that he's gonna, gonna go to the next so guy. Come let me into the mainframe. Oh, okay, no. Okay, but I need to confirm this with your mother. No, no, I, I mean, what? <sighs> sure. What if she's the mold? Think about your own mother. Think what that would do to her. She hates him. So, I mean, I don't know why he she'd do anything for his benefit. Yeah, I can't let you in. Can't or won't? I think both. Either? And after I gave you stir fry, yeah, this is much better. And gingerbread house. Only two means of ingress. The first. He's seriously gonna break. Could you not just, like. Get the access key from like your mom's office or something. You could just break in there and get the access key. But even if you zip lined across, reach the access door, and somehow made it into ISIS headquarters, you'd uh -huh. still have to find the mainframe. What is the mainframe? But wait, it gets worse. Uh -huh. Inside, there are three countermeasure systems. The first is pressure sensitive in the floor. Even a mouse triggers it. The second is sound. Well, that mouse is so hungry. That makes me so sad. Don't you kill that mouse. And the third system is state of the art voice activation. Cyril figures. To what? Security, whatever. Then get them from Cyril. How would I do that? Seduce him, or, or Pam, or both. I can't oh my do God. That. Can't or won't. Either. I think both. Fine. Oh, he's got his Either leftovers in a lunch? swan. Just the tip. Oh, Actually, he forgot his wallet. That's cash. the worst. Are you kidding me? Can you get it? Sorry, I also need cap. Oh, lovely duck. What was that? So, thanks for nothing, Carol. Now I have to break into ISIS headquarters in a nine hundred dollar turtleneck. Oh my god! If it gets ruined, I'm gonna make you drink heavy cream, you, Carol. 
Oh. He's so dramatic. He's like such a big drama king. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. Excellent. Oh, oh he ripped you, it. You see, I just think it's a little weird that you, you can't leave me alone in your apartment. I know I have trust issues, all right? But it's, but it's hard to That is, yeah. Here we go. All those years of the lying and the cheating and that thing with the mayonnaise. And the what, the what? The what now with the mayonnaise? Do you know he called out her name once when with the Ew! Stop. No, I'm with Cyril. This is uncomfortable for like everybody. I'm um, sorry. Did you say Vegas? I'm a huge fan of cock, and my name is. Let's just put all my expenses into some pathetic idiot's account by the name That's... of. Do not. Friendship. Get on, guys. Hey, I was uh, just talking about you and about how this isn't what it looks like. A lot of that going on. Yeah, it's an epidemic. Yeah. Let's see. My real name is Kremensky. Kremensky. Is that Jewish? It's Russian. Okay. Bookings for two. What? Oh, because when I hand the notorious oh, Dutchess to the KGB, I won't just get a promotion. I'll get my own dacha. Too bad you'll never see it. Oh my gosh, Lana. Lana, Crenshaw's a mole. And his yeah. name is not only Crenshaw, it's Kremensky. Definitely Russian, possibly a Jew. I don't know. Thoughts? Yeah, shut up. And you. Shut up. No, 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 do not wind her up. That is yeah, a big gun. Yeah, I was going to say. Baby crazy? Baby crazy? That's why I dumped her. You have a 35-year-old umbilical cough. Oh. Hey, all you talk about is baby shit. Because you're baby crazy! You wanna see crazy? No, I've seen that movie, and spoiler alert, it ends with a closet full of my suits on fire! I wish you'd been wearing one! Why wouldn't oh, I wear an on my fire suit? Cosplay enthusiasts! What? Wait, you no, even shit. hear about totally bad Okay, first of all, he's gonna get away you while you guys are doing this. Yep, right there. He's gone. Good job. Yeah, please keep talking. Archer, what's this flap about a break-in? Uh, this guy. Crenshaw is a mole. Oh, and just crap. She is a perfect race. Now, wow. This time, you impossible. Oh, my gosh. Do not. Do not use her as a hostage. Archer will let her go in a millisecond. Archer does not care. He will let you take her out. I am always nice to her. To her face. Why aren't you in the car? Somebody do something. What? Nothing. You, on the other hand, ow, ow, erection. Ow. Hey, <laughs> what's in there? Buckle the guy. gives you an erection? No, just half of one. How could you know if we had a mole? Uh, Wait. Then, I am taking hot pepper. I'm slowly. I am rubbing it around. <laughs> Hello, darling. Who was this? Who are you? Wait. Comrade Question. And who are you, Comrade Question? Comrade. Oh, shut up. You and your erection. And why are there donuts everywhere? Nobody ever picked up the donut. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me process that. Okay. So that was the pilot episode of Archer. And a couple things I want to address. One is, you know how I said that this was not like Bob's Burgers wholesomeness? It was a little raunchier than I thought it'd be. This was absolute filth. This was like Rick and Morty meets Family Guy meets Robot Chicken meets like, I, I don't know. It was, there was a lot, lot of raunchiness going on here. There was a lot. Um, it does answer some questions why Lana has such a weird obsession with Archer, but also Archer and her hate each other, and also where Cyril, Cyril 
and Lana came together because it did seem kind of weird that everybody just seemed to have already known each other as if they didn't in this episode but like where all this backstory of them being together came from because Lana mentions that in the episode that I watched that they were exes and I was like when did they ever date because if this is the pilot are we going to get a backstory so yeah so a lot of questions were answered about his mom about Lana and his relationship uh why he's so awful <laughs> um honestly though I don't know I don't know that this answered so many questions that it like was worth maybe going back but at the same time, I did kind of like getting to see it from the beginning, because now I feel like I get where things are happening and why things are happening. Um, it was very raunchy, though. I just, I can't get over the raunchiness. It was a lot, a lot going on. So, Archer and his mom are just probably the worst people that I've seen in a cartoon, next to, like, Peter Griffin and maybe Rick from Rick and Morty, which I also haven't seen a lot of, but this has the same level of raunch as those kind of shows, except maybe, maybe a little worse. Um, and like I said before, it's not as wholesome as Bob's Burgers, but this episode really honed that in, that this is not the same kind of humor, and this is not the same kind of thing that John A. Benjamin is doing now he he was in this and it was a lot raunchier at the time so i mean if you guys want me to continue the series uh leave a like on the video and let me know i mean is there a particular episode that like really pulled you guys in in the series is there you know does it get better or is it kind of the same storyline over and over again with the same kind of level of raunchiness because if you love the show i totally get it this just might not be a show for me because I just, it doesn't seem to be pulling me in very much. If you did get any enjoyment out of this, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And stay tuned for a lot more content coming your guys' way. Have a good one, guys. Until next time. Bye!